Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode. So I was lying down in bed looking at the next fishing trip. I wanted to buy something probably in Central Otago, Southland. I was looking down at Gore and as I was checking Clydefell, I found this cheap $59,000 crib next to the river Pomahaka. Nowadays, most of the holiday houses are in the range of $400,000 to $800,000. Obviously, if you've got more to spare, you can spend on those above a million dollar. But this is a $59,000 crib next to the river um, Pomahaka, which is well known for um, brown trout. Uh, it's a tributary of Kluta. So it's just way too cheap for me to ignore. I know I need to find out um, how's the river like. I've never fished in that system before. So that's what I did. I've driven all the way to Pomahaka today. Today we're down here in um, the border of Central Otago and Southland, one of the tributaries of the Kluta. We're just on the banks and uh, we saw a fish early on down the area. Uh, there's not a lot of risers at all. Um, so I've, I've put on a streamer on my glass rod, which is not ideal, but still managed to cast it. He took it, but I didn't manage to set, set the hook and I think the fish felt the tug and just swam away. So we're gonna fish further up that way. There's a bit of rapids down there, a bit more flow. Hopefully more activity. Otherwise, we'll probably be opportunistic to see if there's any cruising fishes along the banks. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, that's a small one. That's alright, we forgot the net. Another fish. This might be a two pounder.
I haven't got a net and the net is with William that's why it's kind of difficult to land this fish um, Oh, I was like, where were you, William? <laughs> Nice fish, eh? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It's got this sort of orange dots. So Pomahaka is definitely a nice place to fish, especially the mid and the upper reaches. Um, but would I buy a crib, you know, just to fish this river? Um, the answer is no. Um, maybe it's a crib where you can access Matara, go um, all the way down south to Invercargo and maybe Central Otago. Uh, maybe, you know, um, it's $59,000 is cheap, but you don't own the land. Apparently it's a reserve land. You pay rates to the council. So I'll see you on my next episode where I'll be fishing around Twizel and Tickapoe.